all and a blessed Sabbath to everyone. We want to enjoy the holy hours amidst all the struggles that is happening throughout the world. But we have been given an opportunity to praise Him, to praise God again today on a Sabbath. Today, the 25th of July 2020. Let us enjoy by studying the Bible, the word from the book, so that we can understand. My topic today, as we saw on the flyer, that's Behold Your Mother. Behold Thy Mother. What do I mean? We are going to study three stages that we are supposed to receive the three seals. We saw the three seals in early writings. On page 15, it was telling us about three seals. God, New Jerusalem, and a glorious star condemning Jesus' union. We have been studying all these days about the Reformation by Sister White, who gave us the, the seal God, and then the Reformation by a VT Hotel, who gave us the seal New Jerusalem. And for us to introduce the seal of the new name of, of Christ, which is supposed to be three seals. That's why we came up with the topic, Behold Thy Mother. Why do we now find a mother in the third seal? We will come up with that at the end of the study. That really, we have to behold thy mother. Right? So we are introducing the seal, the third seal, which is Jesus' new name. If you can go to early writings to see that there are exactly three seals. I've seen people saying we have got only one seal of keeping the Sabbath. Yes, it's, it's not one seal, it's three. But the Sabbath being the first one, which was preached by Sister White. So we want to introduce the third seal and its reformation, which is Jesus' new name. Let's read on early writing, page 15. Page 15. Yeah. The 144,000 mm -hmm. were all sealed and right. perfectly united. Right. On their foreheads was mm -hmm. written, God. God, that's the first seal. Uh -huh. New Jerusalem. Second seal. And a glorious star containing Jesus' new name. Right. So that's the seal which we are introducing, the reformation of that seal, which will give us the seal, the third seal, which is Jesus' new mm -hmm. name. We are going to study about it. That's why I gave the topic, Behold Thy Mother, meaning it's the third seal. And if it is the third seal, wh whether you have received the other two, whether you have become a, under the Reformation Sister White, the first seal, which is God, mm -hmm. and the second seal, which is New Jerusalem under VT Water, which are for the Davidians, and the third seal, which is Jesus' new name, which is the branch. That's the, the, we found it in the previous studies that Jesus' new name is the branch. We will also find out whether it is the the new name. Let's find out from great controversy. Which name in, in start with Zachariah chapter chapter six verse twelve. Yeah. Verse twelve. Yeah. And speak unto him saying, Yeah. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. Behold the man right. whose name is the branch, right. and he shall grow up out of his place. If you can see in your Bibles that the name branch is in capital letters, so it means it's a divine name. Mm -hmm. But let's see who among us the divine names, who is being implicated by the name branch. Let's see from Great Controversy, page 415. Let's read which name, whose name is it, and at what period, right? Point three. Point three, yeah. The work of Christ right. as man's intercessor right. is presented in that beautiful prophecy of Zechariah right. concerning him whose name is the branch. Right. So that's the work of Christ. Which work? Because Christ has done a lot of work. Mm -hmm. he, he did the work of creation. He was not called branch. Mm -hmm. He was called Jehovah. It's there in Genesis chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Right. And also when he came to die in, in, in the womb of Mary, he was called Jesus. He was told to call the name Emmanuel, Jesus, which, which made his job for coming to die. Mm -hmm. But now he's still not coming to die in our time. Mm -hmm. 
he has entered in the Holy of Holies in 1844 and changed the name. We have been told by Great Controversy, page 415, that his name for man's intercessor or the job for interceding for men, which he entered in 1844, mm -hmm. that job alone gave the name Branch. Mm -hmm. So from 1844 onwards, he's not called Jesus. He's called Branch. Now, that's why I'm saying in the topic today, are you a Laodicean? Or are you a Davidian? Or are you a branch? Those are the three seals I'm mentioning. These are the three. Under Laodicea, we saw Sister White saying, uh, we are Laodiceans. Why? Because that's the seventh church. The seventh church among the churches in Revelation. The last one is the seventh one, which was Laodicea. But we know after that, Laodicea was commingled with wheat and tares. But after that, when a church is commingled wheat and tares, it's called a church militant. Mm -hmm. That's what Sister White was leading. A church militant or Laodicea. Right? But ultimately at the end, we will have a church triumphant. So when we see Sister White calling hell her congregation is Laodicea. It was still mingled with and tears. But further on, after her, we will find a church under, under a church triumphant, which will be under the name branch. Let's, let's quantify that first. When we go to the Acts of the Apostles, the church triumphant, page 595. That's the church triumphant. I only want to prove that it will be under the name branch. So that's that's the topic on, uh, I mean, prophets and kings, sorry, prophets and kings, 713. I mean, uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh. Start, start with, with Acts of the Apostle, page 595, then we can go to prophets and kings if we don't understand that one. Okay. Right, yeah. 595. 595.2. Upon the foundation. What was the topic was that? Scroll back and see what was the topic. The church triumphant. The church triumphant. So I want to prove that that church triumphant is under the name branch. So the topic there on Acts of the Apostle is under the, the heading called church triumphant. triumphant. We want to know is it under the name Laodicea mm -hmm. or is it under the name Davidian mm -hmm. or is it under the name branch? Right? Read on. Point three. Five nine five point two. Yeah. Upon the foundation right. that Christ himself had laid, mm -hmm. the apostles built the church of God. Right. In the scriptures, mm -hmm. the figure of the erection of a temple is frequently used mm -hmm. to illustrate the building of the church. Right. Zechariah, Zechariah refers to Christ right. as the branch that should build the temple of the Lord. We saw in Zechariah chapter 6 verse 12, Zechariah is meaning the bread i mean he has referred to the building of a church under the name branch now sister white is talking about that that zechariah he has mentioned about the branch in zechariah 6 verse 12 and meaning the establishment of a church triumphant mm -hmm. but under the name branch and what we'll start again there upon the foundation right that christ himself had laid mm -hmm. The apostles built the church of God. Right. In the scriptures, the figure of the erection of a temple right. is frequently used right. to illustrate the building of the church. Right. Zechariah mm -hmm. refers to Christ right. as the branch right. that should build the temple of the Lord. That should build that last temple of the church triumphant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He speaks of the Gentiles right. as a helping in the work. That one will be done by the Gentiles. That's not going to be done by the Israel by flesh. But it will be erected by Gentiles. He speaks of Gentiles involved helping, helping in, in the, the work in, in the work of the erection of the church triumphant mm -hmm. under the name branch. Do you understand? And they that are afar off, they will come from afar off. Shall come and build. We in saw the on, of on God. the study on the new moon where uh, Pastor Duve was talking about 
the the people from the south and it means the revelation chapter 18 was the angel which came down so the angel came where down meaning he had to elaborate what was meant by down mm -hmm. that it was from the south if you do not know we can go to it there, there are gentiles coming to build the church triumphant coming from far off far from where far from where the church is to be erected where is it let's go back to Zechariah chapter 6 where is this erection 6 verse 12 of the erection of this temple yeah and speak unto him say mm -hmm. thus speaketh the Lord of hosts right say, mm. behold the man mm. whose name is the branch right and who shall and he shall grow up out of his place right and he shall build the temple of the Lord right so this is the erection of the temple of which one the church triumphant and what even he mm. shall build the temple of the Lord right and he shall bear the glory right and shall sit and rule upon right. his throne right and shall be a priest upon his throne and right. the council of peace shall be between them both right and and the crowns mm. shall be to Helen right and to Tobijah, Tobijah. <laughs> and to Jediah right and to Ham right. the sons of Zephaniah right for a memorial in the temple now do you see the, the name of the of the of Christ being called branch he will be building this temple where is he going to come and sit and at the throne at this temple when you're talking about the church triumphant you're talking of the kingdom that's one thing you don't know the kingdom with the name with christ <coughs> being called the branch coming to sit in the church triumphant and what read verse 15 verse 15 and yeah. they that are far off they that are far off shall come and build in the temple sister white has told us in exodus the apostle page 595 that those that are far off are the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. They are the ones coming to build this church triumphant. And what? And they that are far off right. shall come mm -hmm. and build in the temple of the Lord. Right. And ye shall know right. that the Lord of hosts hath sent me to you. Right. So we have seen that the church triumphant, which we all long to see a church without the commingling of the wheat and tares, it will only be wheat. Wheat only without tears, but that will be the church triumphant. Where will it be when Christ sits as the branch ruling the whole world? That's the establishment of the kingdom. So now that's why we have to have the, the new name of Christ being the last seal and being the last reformation, being the reformation on Revelation chapter 18, as it was said. And it says, The name the the reformation this message was dropped in the south we saw it mm -hmm. let's go to to ezekiel chapter 20 uh sorry 20 verse 45 right verse 45 yeah moreover mm. the word of the lord came unto me saying mm. Son of man, right. set thy face toward the south, right. and drop thy word toward right. the south. So that's why, that's why we heard on that day, on that video, the previous one, on the new moon, that the, the, this word was dropped in the south. south. Meaning, the selection of those who are supposed to build the church triumphant started from the south. Mm -hmm. And we saw that the south, which was what? Which was a forest area. What? What? Uh -huh. Son of man, mm -hmm. set thy face toward the south, right, and drop thy word toward the south, right. And prophesy mm -hmm. against the forest of the south field, right, and say to the forest of the south field, right, hear the word of the Lord, right. That says the Lord God, mm -hmm. behold, I will kindle a fire, right, in thee, right, and it shall devour every green tree in thee and every dry tree. Tree, are leaders, grass, and um, people. So you remember when Nebuchadnezzar in, in Daniel chapter uh, it's just chapter four when he, he dreamt of himself as a tree which has been chopped. Those are leaders, isn't it? Those are leaders. So meaning this fire will devour even those who were leading who who who, who felt the fire. It will devour. It means devouring is not in actual devouring, killing, or whatever, but it's the word of God will be felt even by the leaders. 
It was dropped in the South. It was dropped as a reformation. And we, we had Pastor Dube on, on, on Wednesday talking about this in, in devouring of, the, of this message, which was starting as people were kneeling mm -hmm. and, and people were watching the, the, the angel of Revelation 18 mm -hmm. having come, mm -hmm. having come down to the South. We saw that. Go, if you don't understand, go back to where it says a woman shall encompass a man and, and listen properly to that video. But now today we are talking about the reformation of the black movement. How is it going to affect us? And how is it is the final reformation? Where after that reformation, when you have heard about the branch name being said in our people, then it all means that reformation is in pipeline already. And after it, that's where we have the establishment of the kingdom, Christ coming as the branch to rule as the church triumphant in the Acts of the Apostle to rule as the branch. So that reformation is not being led by people. It is led by Christ, his name being the what? The branch. So it is a mighty angel because Christ is a mighty angel. There is no angel who, who can compass uh, Christ. But how he started that reformation, we have been told already, is it's a, a, it's a, the word which dropped to the south, which is the countries in the south, southern region. We saw it. And then when he comes, what, when he comes in the south, what, what happened? And say to the forest of the south, right? Hear the word of the Lord. Right. That says the Lord God, mm -hmm. Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee. Right. And it shall devour every green tree in thee. Right. And every dry tree. Right. The flaming flame mm -hmm. shall not be quenched. Right. And all faces from the south to the north shall be bent there. And all people were terrified and they even called the, revelation, the angel of Revelation 18 by names. And the people that were, you know, that were under the angel by Revelation 18. They were called Fukamist, they were called all type of names, you know, satanic, whatever, whatever. But it was a reformation starting and it is now in pipeline. It's almost coming to an end. So let's hear now about how this new name was received. How this the the the, the we have we, we have known how it was received. In some other parts on America, there was so much reformation that even caused people to upside down. We do not know. We are not there. But in South, in Africa, that's how it started. So we are still in the formation of the reformation by the branch. It is biblical. It is left by Christ himself as from 1844, he changed his name to be the branch. So now let's, 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 let's go back now. Are you allowed this year? Or are you a dividend or are you a branch? So we know now there are three seals. If you want to be saved, you have all three seals. I've had people who have stopped at Laodicea with the first seal, the Sabbath, which is the first seal. And I've had people talking about dividend, which is just the Davidian message, as it was in, with VT, whatever in the shepherd was. That's all. They are stuck there. And then we have people now we have progressed to the last level, which is a higher calling, which is called the branch level. And the branch level, meaning they use all the documents from Sister White to get the first seal, from VT Watef to get the second seal, from the branch, which is uh, Benjamin Roden, who wrote the branch uh, message, and his wife. We want to see how they come about, came about with that message. We will see all that from what we are studying. And those three wrote on, they wrote, that's why they are dead. They are all dead. Sister White is dead. VT Watef is dead. Benjamin Roden and his wife. He, what did his wife bring about? His wife brought about the, 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 the branch name as in the Holy Spirit and brought about that the Holy Spirit is feminine. We saw it in Pastor Duvet's lesson that it was an angel who came, who looked feminine. And that angel now came to the wife of Benjamin Roden in 1977. Benjamin Roden 
started the branch message in 1955, but the wine started in 1977, only to introduce that the Holy Spirit is feminine, and that was the end. These three, they are the ones that have given us the basic syllabus of the three seals. Amen. But what do we need now? We <coughs> need someone who, like John the Baptist, who will be found when Christ comes, will find when he came first, he came and found John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. So, John the Baptist was not even part of the, the, the prophets who had written the Bible. He didn't write nothing. Did you know that? No. John the Baptist wrote nothing. He was only baptizing. That's it. But he was preparing the way of the coming of Christ. He didn't write any book. If you have any book by John the Baptist, please show me. There is no book. He was just using all the prophets, uh, what all the prophets wrote. You understand? So now we expect a prophet who will write nothing of herself or himself. But that prophet will be using these other three prophets, what syllabus they have written for the three seals. This prophet should now take the message from Sister White mm -hmm. and from V.T. Watef and from Benjamin Roden. Those three messages which were providing a basic for the three seals and bring those messages to the people. Amen. That's what we are expecting now. For Sister White has done her bit and written everything. For the seal, for the first seal. And Vitti Watev has done happy his bit and wrote the syllabus for the second seal, which is New Jerusalem. And Sister Roden and Benjamin Roden, they have written their bit for the branch he, which is for the masculine, which is Christ, and the branch she, which is the Holy Spirit. They have written their, their bit to give us those three. But now what are we expecting? We're expecting someone in the anti-type of John the Baptist who writes nothing but just take those three messages to the people. Amen. That's it. Amen. And Christ comes. So that's what we are waiting for. And this is the <clears throat> last reformation we said, behold thy mother. Why we should behold that mother? We will see. Because Sister White even saw that person preparing to come and give that. Let's see. Let's see where Sister White wrote about that person. Um, it go to testimonies, volume one, T1, page 216, where she said, I have been shown. I have been shown that. I have been shown mm -hmm. that the Lord is reviving the living pointed testimony. Right. Stop there. What is this living pointed testimony? It's a prophet. We were told by the scriptures that the testimonies of Jesus, they don't just go and flow anyway. Mm -hmm. They go to a prophet. Yes. That's the person who hears the testimony of Jesus. So Sister White saw, saw someone living. Did you hear? Re read again that statement. I have been shown mm -hmm. that the Lord is reviving the living. living. Right. testimony right which will develop character and purify the church that person will develop the characters of those who are going to be translated Amen. how that person is going to develop those characters is going to put those three seals together and bring to the people Amen. so that they receive the three seals on their forehead Amen. that's the reformation we are waiting for now and if you imagine, remember John the Baptist, he did not write nothing, mm -hmm. but he, he, he used the, 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 what other prophets had written. Mm -hmm. The person, the pointed testimony will only use what Sister White wrote, will only use what Brother Rotten wrote, and what Brother Wotev wrote, bring it to the people. Mm -hmm. And those people who are going to receive those threefold messages are going to be sealed on their forehead to prepare. That's how the living pointed testimony will prepare 
those will develop the character that God has put in these threefold messages. So this is what Sister White saw. I saw, I have been shown, was shown by God. Mm -hmm. Let's read, read there. I have been shown mm -hmm. that the Lord is reviving the living, pointed, pointed testimony. testimony. So that's why that prophet is called a living, pointed testimony. So when you say the testimony of Jesus, you mean a person. You mean a, po a prophet who has the testimony of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who has these testimonies to these three pointed, these three messages to give to the people so that the people receive the three cells. So this is what the, when Brother Rod, Ho, Brother Rod, uh, uh, Hotel we saw in, in 1930 he came up with the Davidian message. And Sister White, we saw in 1844, 1844, came up with the, uh, the Laodicean message. And also, um, Brother Ben Roden and Sister Lois Roden, they also came up with the branch message. But at the end, there is a pointed testimony living to develop the characters of the people according to these three. Mm. This is what John the Baptist did, to prepare the way for the coming of Christ. Do you understand? So he read on. Uh -huh. But while we are commanded to separate from the world, it is not necessary that we become coarse and rough. I, I, don't, I don't think you finish it properly. So start from where you say, I have been shown. I have been shown that the Lord is reviving the living Point point testimony, testimony, which, which will, will develop, develop character, character and purify, purify the, the church. church. Do you expect the church to be purified? Mm -hmm. There is a pointed testimony which will develop the character and also purify the church. church. How do the church get purified? By these three messages. Mm -hmm. These three messages which were seen as a seal. And those who received the seal have received purification of the three. I've seen people stop with the first seal of Sister White. That's it. From 1844, we only need Sabata, Sabata, that's it. But they need to progress to the second seal, which is the Davidic message from the shepherd Lord. And also, there are some in the Davidian who will say, Davidian is okay, okay. They even say, say, Vitu, whatever is going to be raised is going to be our messenger for the last. No, 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 no. It has never happened like that. Even Elijah who were told that the Elijah will be raised in the last day. It's not the physical Elijah, the Tishbite. Mm -hmm. No, it's a people who will be given the spirit of Elijah. But here, they can progress also to the branch message. They have to progress to get the, the last seal. How, how far you have run a good race, but you have to finish the race. The rest finishes with the branch message, which Jesus' new name is the branch message. So here we are seeing, even when, when go back to any writing, page 15. Right. The 144,000, right? The 144,000 mm -hmm. were all sealed and the, perfectly united. Yes. On their foreheads was written, right? God. Right. New Jerusalem mm -hmm. and a glorious star containing Jesus' new name. Right. So that did you hear the last one? Last bit it says a glorious star, star. containing Jesus' new, new name. name. Did you hear that? Did you hear? It's not Christ Himself on the mm -hmm. third seal. It's it's a star. Did Cont you hear? It was a star containing containing Jesus' new name. What is the star? Star. Let's go back to Daniel chapter 8. We want to see what a star is. Daniel chapter 8. Go to the verse which says, from verse 10 upwards, it says, the, 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 that's, the, that's the, 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 the horn, the great horn which was, which was now uh, persecuting the saints. What are they? The saints were persecuted, is in, including also the, the stars. There is a verse which says so. Verse 10. Okay. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. And it worked great. That is the one. Even That's what happened in the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. it, it works great. Whoever was persecuting the saints in the Dark Ages works great. Yeah. 
and he walk and it works the great right even to the host of heaven the host of heaven are the congregations the, the christians who were fighting the, the the person who was changing times and laws in the dark ages, right? And it cast down right? some of the hosts right? and the stars to the ground. So so what was cast down? It was both the hosts, which are the Christians, and their stars. Mm -hmm. We knew that the Christians and their leaders. Mm -hmm. So the star here were leaders. Did you get that? Yes. What is a star? Is the leaders. So what is this person who was, who was persecuting the saints, was persecuting the host, the Christians, as and well as their, their stars. stars or their leaders? Mm -hmm. Did you hear a star is a leader? Mm -hmm. Now go back to early writings, page 15. Right? Page 15 here. Yeah. The 144,000 right? were all sealed mm -hmm. and perfectly united. Right. On their foreheads was written, right? God, God New, New Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And a, and a glorious star. star. Did you hear that? There is a star. But one thing you should know is when you go to Corinthians, Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter 11, mm -hmm. where Paul was talking about the, the ladies who were supposed to be putting on a, a, a veil on the head mm -hmm. when they prophesy. It, it, it was saying that the the from verse fourteen, I think, where it says the the, 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 the head of a, a woman is the glory. Okay. Verse seven. Yeah. Right. Verse seven. Mm -hmm. For a man indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For a man indeed. Right. Ought not to cover his head. Right. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. Right. But the woman mm. is the glory of the man. Did you hear that? A woman is the glory of men. So who 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 qualifies the word glory? Is it a man or a woman? Woman. So if you say the man is a glory, it's wrong. Because the man is a, is the glory is in the woman. Mm -hmm. A woman is a glory of a man. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. So glory means woman. It's more feminine, the glory. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, <laughs> uh, someone will say, uh, you, you are talking of a veil, but if you go further with the, with this, with this uh, spirit of office, when you talk about a veil, I've seen people, oh, cover your head, cover your head. You, you know, yes, what do you cover your head with? We see Brother with VT Water in, in the entering wedge somewhere talking about you can even cover your head with a wig mm -hmm. huh mm -hmm. what is a wig it's a head it's a, cover it's a head mm -hmm. it depends if you want your head to be from wool or from a cloth or from a wig mm -hmm. size up you put it together mm -hmm. and you put it on your head it's covering your head mm -hmm. So don't, want, don't get so very anxious about what is on the head. If, if you choose your head and someone chooses a wig, they are all having a covering on their head. Oh, yes. They take size off and put it together, mm -hmm. looking like hair, and cover it. That's why even in entering wedge, Beatty Water was talking about the covering, which, which could be. Sometimes someone has got no time to be, you know, arranging the hair is so so difficult you can just put on a wig that's it it's allowed in the spirit of prophecy yes. it is allowed yeah don't make it something that god did not intend you to look like but something that god d intended you to look like it is fine it is fine so if you are well behind in knowledge don't display your knowledge unnecessarily you display your, ne your ignorance unnecessarily you, you understand? So you've got to learn first before you, you know, I've heard people talking about uh, females, do not put on trousers and whatever. You have got to dig your deep, your, 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 your shaft deeper. Because when Deuteronomy was talking about a man, a woman should not put on something pertaining pe to, a to a woman, to a man or whatever. He wasn't talking about trousers and whatever. He was talking about when you put on something, you go in the shop, mm -hmm. you find a trousers for women mm -hmm. and a trousers for mm -hmm. men. Do not buy a trousers 
for men when you are a woman. And when you are a man, don't buy trousers for me for women. That's what he was talking about. Yeah? For for if you go to the beginning, you find even you go to people in Scotland, the men were putting on skirts. Do you understand? They're putting on skirts. The skirts were for men. The trousers for women. So if you are still ignorant, don't venture into all those things. First of all, dig deeper in the spiritual prophets and find out exactly what they mean. There are people who are, even when it is cold, they are hitting themselves with dresses and the, the, the cold is going into all the legs and everything. They are not even putting on something warm. Why? Because of that verse. Because they don't understand it. The verse actually says, do not put on something that was supposed to be for men. Yeah? So let's go back to my verse. I just I just wanted to divert because that verse, I know so many people, especially males, they want to, yeah, oh, put on a wig. Oh, put, they, are, they are oppressing. They are oppressing people and say, put on, put on, put on something and put on someone who just take even a, a, a cloth, anything, and then they, you know, or oh, anything that they want to take. And to, no, a covering can be covered by even the size of for a wig or wool. Because if you are putting on a wig and they, someone putting on a head, yeah, it's just the same. Someone just chose wool and someone chose size up, size up. So what's the point? What's the, there's no stress about that, isn't it? So here, let's go back to my verse. We saw the glory of a woman, of a man is a woman. So go back to any writings. Any writing, page 15. Let's see, we want to see about this star. Right? And uh -huh. the one foot four thousand. Right? Were all sealed mm. and perfectly united. Mm. On their foreheads was written mm -hmm. God. God. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. And a glorious star containing Jesus' new name. So we have seen that in Daniel chapter eight, a star is a is a is a, is a leader. Mm. And but that star is glorious. First Corinthians chapter 11 told us that this star told us that the glory of a man is a woman. So who is glorious? So what are we expecting on the third seal? We are expecting God to use a female leader to bring the branch message to the people. Amen. That's why we saw sister a Lois being picked in 1977 and then an angel came we, we saw it in that ex, in, 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 in the Shekinah magazine a angel came glimmering and she you know she's pastor Dewey said it in the previous video to to approach sister Lois Roden giving her the message of the feminine gender of the Holy Spirit. And we saw that the Holy Spirit is feminine. Mm -hmm. We saw that is our mother. Mm -hmm. That's why our lesson is saying, Behold thy mother. Sister Roden explained that there is a feminine in heaven, which is Jerusalem, our mother. Mm -hmm. In Galatians chapter 4 it says, Jerusalem in heaven is our mother. Now let's hear from a court where God himself said in this last day. That, that was the reason why Sister White came as, a, it, it, the, the leader was Sister White was a feminine. It was because God has said, now he wants a leader. He wants the Holy Spirit to lead or the female. The Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is feminine, wants the Holy Spirit now to take over the office. That's why Christ said to go to heaven. He says, if I don't go, she won't come. She won't come. Because the, the angel, the, the, the Holy Spirit had to come after Christ had ascended. Do you understand? They had to exchange. What did, what did God himself utter? Did he utter now that we have to take over the, the power now, send the power to the females or send the power to the Holy Spirit who was female? Now let's hear from um, um, from your top top post. You know the top post. There there is a quotation um, 
which comes from each white general conference bulletin April 1, 1901. So start where there was a paraphrasing actually a in in, in it was paraphrasing on Revelation 12, verse 17. Start with Revelation 12, verse 17, they are about there. <coughs> and what does it say? Verse 17. Mm -hmm. And the dragon right? was wroth with the woman. What was the dragon wroth with? The, the woman. woman. Right? And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That was Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. I think Pastor David spoke about Genesis 3, verse 15, saying... That, that the seed of a woman so shall bruise, bruise the head. Mm -hmm. Now, we are seeing now the dragon was wrought with a woman. woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Right. Which keep the commandments of God. Right. And have, have a living, living testimony of Jesus Christ. That's what is, is, is written there. Have a living testimony of Jesus Christ. So it means that a living woman. Did you hear that? Now let's hear what the the, the, the general conference bulletin April 1, 1901, what God Himself said from the light, uh -huh. a sister white saying, uh -huh. From the light that I have. Right. That was shown me in figure. Right? There's a narrow circle here. Um, wait. Sister White is saying. She was shown a light. She, she has a light. She was shown a circle. There's a circle in here. And what about the circle, right? Inside of this narrow circle mm -hmm. is even a king. So she was shown the last, the last work of the branch was a circle. Mm -hmm. But this circle had a king. This is what Sister White said in Bulletin. Mm -hmm. eh? A royal reigning power. That king was a royal reigning power. Right? Eh? God means what he says. Say, she says, God means what he says. What? I desire a change here. That's God said. Mm -hmm. In this circle, where there is a king or a royal, I desire a change here. What? What change did he desire? The Lord wants his spirit, his spirit to enter. Wants his wife or the woman, the mother in heaven, or the Holy Spirit to enter in this circle. circle. And what? He wants the, the Holy, Holy spirit, spirit to, to be, be the, the king. king. Did you see that the last messenger in heaven is a king, is a woman? Is the Holy Spirit in the circle? Why? I desire a change. Who was there before? There was a man. Whose man? Christ. Now he says, for this branch message only, I want a change. A change. And what? I want the Holy Spirit to, to be there, to enter in the circle. A royal king. And what does the royal king do? do? The, the royal king now started by giving us a female figure to lead. That was Sister White. And then at last, who do we see? Sister Lois Roden. So, they are all dead. So what are we expecting at last? A female leader in that circle. So we have to understand why people are, the devil runs ahead and say, no women, no women. Yes, sin, there is a change here. According to that text, there is a change here. Now, let us read. Our lesson is so wide. It is so wide to those who did not, who fortified themselves with the, the, the Spirit of God. So let's hear from Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. I said in the topic, are you now this year, or Davidian, or branch. We have said so much about this branch. Now let's see how people did. We have people who are still under one seal. They allow this year, which is the seal God, or which is the Sabbath. Then we have people under Davidian, 
and then we now we have people under the branch name so these are the th three seals that are threefold messages that are with people so how you behave with those three seals is different that's why i'm saying are you laodicea or are you tafite or are you that so we have to see how you behave is there the behavior is there on Revelation chapter 3 we are now going to read it verse 14 verse 14 mm -hmm. and unto the angel right of the church of the Laodiceans right 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 these things said the amen right the faithful and true witness mm -hmm. the beginning of the creation of God mm -hmm. for I know thy works right that thou art neither cold nor hot right I would thou wait cold or hot mm -hmm. So then, because thou art lukewarm mm. and neither cold nor hot, mm -hmm. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Right. Because thou sayest, I am rich mm -hmm. and increased with goods right. and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched One. and miserable Two. and poor Three. and blind Four. and naked. And naked. I counsel thee mm. to buy me of gold tried in the fire right. that thou mayest be rich mm -hmm. and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed. Mm -hmm. and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear mm. and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Right. It will be straightforward. They, the, God is talking to your people and tell that those people with the name Laodicea. You are neither hot nor cold. You say you are rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. Hmm. I cancel thee to buy me or to gold. buy me gold. It says, how do you appear? You are how, wretched. How, how, how do you appear? Uh -huh. You're wretched. Wretched. Miserable. Miserable. Poor. Poor. Blind. And blind. And naked. And naked. But do you know that? Thou knowest it you, not. Thou, you don't know that. Have you seen people behaving like that? Who behave like something when they are nothing? That's what I've seen here. If you are worse off, you are naked. You are worse off, you are blind. You know, eyes. God is talking about a people like that. Let's not take it as a verse and throw it as a story. This is a people who look like that in front of God. Now, let's read from... Let's want to understand more about this from timely greeting. We are going to start the timely greeting 8... Is verse seventeen point three. Now let's hear where it says what is wrong, right? What is wrong with, with the, the angel, angel of Laodicea? Do you see who is being said? It's not the whole Laodicea, it's the angel. Mm -hmm. We saw that a leader is called a star, mm -hmm. but the angel, what is an angel? Go to Revelation chapter one, verse twenty. Verse 20. Yeah. The mystery of the seven stars, uh -huh. which thou sawest in my right hand, right, and the seven golden candlesticks, right, the seven stars yeah. are the seven angels of the seven churches, right. Did you hear mm -hmm. the seven what? The seven stars. Did you hear in any writing when we are talking about the star? Mm -hmm. There is a star which has Jesus' Continue new name. name. When is the star has Jesus' new name? There are seven stars. Mm -hmm. who, 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 uh, read one. The mystery of the seven stars, mm -hmm. which thou sawest mm -hmm. in my right hand, mm -hmm. and the seven golden candlesticks. Right. The seven stars mm -hmm. are the angels of the seven churches. Right. And the seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches. Now, we have heard that the star cannot be a church. The star cannot be people. Mm -hmm. It is an angel. Did you hear? Yes. An angel of a church. Mistake, yeah. Meaning these are leaders. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. A star is a leader. Mm -hmm. But we are, read, we are reading on Revelation chapter 3 verse 14. It is addressed to an angel. Of Laodicea. Of Laodicea. Meaning it's a star of Laodicea. At the same time, when the star should be having Jesus' new name, the star, God is talking about the star which is faulty there, mm -hmm. which has problems. Mm -hmm. The star has problems. 
or the angel has problems. What problems? This is what BT What if is addressing and saying, what is wrong with this star, mm -hmm. with the, with this angel, right? Read. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with the angel, with the angel of, Laodicea. of Laodicea? What is wrong? Why? Because they have seen the, the angel or the star should be having Jesus' new name. Mm -hmm. But now here, what is wrong with the angel of Laodicea? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He is lukewarm. He is lukewarm. <laughs> Listen, the answer is from Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. He's he is lukewarm. lukewarm. He is lukewarm. That's the angel. Uh -huh. He is neither cold nor hot. And he is neither cold nor hot. You know, you know, I don't know. Speak neither use a problem. Because if the, the water is not hot, hot you can't use cold. it. You can't, uh, and if it's not cold, you can't use it. You can't introduce anything. You introduce anything, you just say, ah, I know it. If you know it, why don't you do it? If you know it, why don't you do it? <laughs> now, this, uh, he is lukewarm. And? He's neither cold. Right? No hot. Right? The Lord recommends mm. that he be either cold, cold or hot. Or hot, at least. Be, just say, I don't know. And God will bring information. Yes. Don't say, I know, I know, when you are not doing it. You don't know. Just say, I don't know. I don't know. Right? It has been cold. If you are hot, then do it. Right? And what? Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. Right? In search of something better rather than stay lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Well contented with the spiritual attainments. Right? That's supposedly. the angel. What is it? It's very uncomfortable. It's neither cold. Mm -hmm. It's neither hot. Mm -hmm. Is very, is very uncomfortable and in search is always in search of something better but <laughs> but stays local did you hear that mm -hmm. and well content well content ah with his yeah, spiritual powerful, attainments powerful powerful <laughs> why are you contented when you have got nothing right uh -huh. well contented mm -hmm. with his spiritual attainments ah powerful ah we are almost you know what the angel of Laodicea is almost about to go to the pearly gate. But this is God. God is saying, this is what? You know, and what? Uh -huh. Supposedly, uh -huh. rich and increased with goods. Right? Which is the truth. Do, do you know that? You go to the Spirit of Prophets volumes. They are all over the lab, library. Everywhere. They are there. They are there. But who is reading them? Mm -hmm. No one. Rich with goods. Did you hear that? Supposedly. And, uh huh. Not knowing that mm -hmm. he is spiritually poor. Poor. Huh? And? What is wrong with the end of Laodicea? Uh -huh. He is lukewarm. Lukewarm. He is neither cold nor hot. Mm -hmm. The Lord recommends that he be either cold or hot. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. In search of something better mm -hmm. rather than stay lukewarm. Uh -huh. Well contented with his spiritual attainments. Mm -hmm. Supposedly rich and increased with goods. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that he is spiritually poor. Poor. Blind. Blind. Naked. Naked. He is warned of it by the all-knowing one mm. and asked to repent. Right. He is by the all-knowing one is asking to repent. Say, by I serve. I serve and anoint your eyes. What? Uh -huh. If the... Uh -huh. yeah. All-knowing one, yeah. Uh -huh. If the Lord's own warning... If the Lord's own warning mm. fails to change his mind, mm -hmm. then the only thing left for the Lord to do mm. is, is to spew him, him out, out of, his, of mouth. his mouth. That's what happened in that verse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what? And naked, mm -hmm. he is warned of it by the all-knowing one and asked to repent. Mm -hmm. If the Lord's own warning fails to change his mind, mm -hmm. then the only thing left right. for the Lord... Let's go to the next paragraph. It says, by words. By the words. By the words. Mm -hmm. I'm rich. rich. Did you hear that verse? It says, I'm rich. And increased with goods. And increased with goods. The angel of Laodicea is saying that he has good understanding of the Bible. I really understand this Bible. And he has the testimony of the church. You cannot tell me anything. It's got all the big words to understand the Bible. And? And the testimony is for the church. Mm -hmm. And that these make, make him, him rich. rich. And, and that in addition to these, he has other denominational publications mm -hmm. 
his increase. Right? He thus deceives himself that he has the whole truth to kill him right through onto the pelicans. Mm -hmm. That he needs nothing more. Mm. The Lord's counsel, mm. however, mm -hmm. that he buy of him gold that is tried in the fire, mm. so that he may be rich, mm. unveils the fact that the Laodicean's riches are not pure, pure gold. gold. Mm -hmm. And that their so-called increase is not an increase of truth, but worthless, uninspired interpretations not tried in the fire. Right. Exactly. That's the quotation from TG 18.1. 8.8 space 18.1 now let's further go to the second paragraph of it the angel the angel of Laodicea mm -hmm. is, is naked, naked too. too that's what we heard from the verse mm -hmm. it's naked someone has got to understand this is prophecy we have to understand that prophecy of Revelation 3 verse 14 is talking about a people so unless somebody digs to find out what this prophecy is all about, we will go not knowing what God is talking about. Right? Uh -huh. The angel of Laodicea is, is naked, naked too. too. Right? He has not the wedding garment on. He has not the righteousness of Christ. What is the righteousness of Christ? It's the branch message. Mm -hmm. That's why it says, in his days, Judah, um, go to the branch message. Uh, go to Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 5 mm -hmm. uh -huh. Behold the days come right? saith the Lord mm -hmm. that I will raise unto David a righteous branch right? and a king shall reign and prosper mm -hmm. and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth right? in his days right? Judah shall be saved mm -hmm. and Israel shall dwell safely mm -hmm. and this is the name whereby he shall be called right? the, the Lord, Lord our, our righteousness, righteousness. So this is the righteousness of the saints. Mm -hmm. So here is if you say if you don't have the branch message, the righteousness is not there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because the righteousness comes from the branch yes. message. Now here it says, and his being naked, not having on any clothes, read on. And his being naked, mm -hmm. not having any clothes on, mm. denotes that. He has no righteousness save his own. Right? Uh -huh. The righteousness with which he was born, his bare skin. Right? Moreover, mm. he is spiritually blind. Blind? And that for his ailment, the mm. Lord's eyes of is the only remedy. Mm -hmm. If you would but take the Lord's counsel and apply the self to his ailing eyes, he could then see. How do we apply eyesalve? Behold thy mother. We heard that the glorious star containing Jesus' new name, God has entrusted it to female leading the branch message. So if you say you are branch and you are not a female and you are a man, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are saying you are leading the branch message and you are a man, it doesn't go along with the scripture. Mm -hmm. The scripture doesn't say so. We can research, it can never be a man. It can never be a man. A man can be a branch, but not lead the branch. Because God has said, I desire a change. In that circle, I want a change. I want the, the Holy Spirit to lead. It was a feminine. That's why we find the last message coming with Sister Lois Roden with a feminine. And a feminine angel came, which is Revelation chapter 18. Mm -hmm. It was a feminine angel glittering outside. Now, if you stopped with the Laodicean with Sister White only, you can't know what happened further on. You, you, you stuck yourself somewhere there. But there are people who have progressed and seen what happened next and next. Are you telling me the disciples were only trained for three and a half years? Do you know that? Mm -hmm. the, the disciples walked with Christ. For three and a half years, they were walking with Christ. That was enough for, their, for them to have a training, isn't it? Now, look at William Miller, wrote a message in 1831. By 1833, it was three years. The message of Miller, William Miller finished, only three years, right? And Sister White brought a message in 1844. And by 1888, do you see that from 1844 
1888, almost three and a half years, which is four years, God had sent 80 Johns and Wekona. It was only three and a half years. 80 Johns and Wekona came in 1888 with a message which was rejected. The rejection made us to delay for 40 years, right? Until 1930. 1930's VT Water of Now brings a message of the angel coming from the east, Revelation 7, right? Of the next seal, Jerusalem. Now, when VT Water was rejected, next Benjamin Roden brought a message of the branch message in 18 in 1955. Benjamin Roden in 1955, right? And from 1955, we see his wife bringing a message in 1977. From 55 to 77, it's three and a half years. Do you see? It's three and a half years was enough, right? It was enough. It's not all these years staying on one message. You should query. It's like somebody who is waiting for a bus which was supposed to come at 9 o'clock and then you wait until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You should be questioning the bus had already gone. Mm -hmm. The bus had already Now, if you have been staying from 1844 until 2020, you've got no new message which came. No new message which came. You should be knowing one thing. It's either you were asleep when messages were coming. That's why we find messages which say the church is asleep. That's why we find in, in the parables that they, of the ten virgins that they were all sleeping. The ten virgins were sleeping. Why? When messages were coming, where were they? They, sleep. they slept and slumbered and did not know that what, that time from 1844 to 19, to 2020, the several messages have been coming. Why? Because they were sleeping. Sleeping church. Preaching a, to a sleeping lady. While messages were coming. Because for sure, you cannot profess that since Sister White came in 1844, that's all the church has had until 2020. You can. It's either they were sleeping somewhere while the messages were rolling, the scroll of God did not wait for three and a half years in the time of Christ. Mm -hmm. The early Christian church was there. And in 1834, from 1831, when the early Christian church was instituted, to 1834, when the church, when they were told now to bring that same message to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Do you see, it was barely three and a half years. Now from there up to there, you see Paul coming, you see even when they were delayed by the invasion of the church by paganism, yeah, by dark ages, God did not just wait. He continued to bring reformers, to reform, the, to put back the church to the, to the right direction. And when they were in the right direction with William Miller, it barely was three and a half years from 1831 to 1833. And when Sister Whiting from 1844, to 1888, there are barely more than 10 years. Then now we are stuck from 1844 until 2020. Ah, how God, God does not wait for more than three and a half years. It's 176 years. Yeah, 100 and something years. God is waiting for the last messenger, his Sister White. Tell me truly, where are we heading to? Where are we really heading to? It means messages have been coming. We were not aware. Mm -hmm. We were not aware. We were stuck somewhere. Somebody just took us and entertained us. You know, people are entertained. You can entertain them until morning. Do you know that? You know what? How do people get entertained? That's why we are so good at singing. We are very good at singing. It's entertainment. Sometimes if people are, are waiting for a group to come and the group comes, what do we hear? Only music, no message. People are hungry for the message. Singing is good, but we are not hungry for, for, for songs. We are hungry for songs which come with messages. These songs should come and we also should feed our spiritual lives with messages.
messages. We don't just feed the spiritual life with music, music. Come everywhere you go. You find our names there with music only. With music only. But we cannot sing only without putting messages. People are hungry for the present truth. People want messages. The spiritual life needs to be revived so that we can accept the messages and Christ comes. We can get the ceiling, the seals or the three messages. How can you be entertaining people and, and, and drop a few lines, a few lines of, of whatever, you, you write books and what if they call them pamphlets or something or that. A few, eight lines, and then you say people have been fed spiritual. Continue, sing and sing. And Paul was talking of a time where people will be fed with fables. Is it not this time? You see somebody taking stories about, you know, uh, Paul went from Joppa to what? And Paul, uh, the stories that are getting us nowhere. We need the present truth to know what God wants us to behave. We know to know what God wants us to prepare. To know how God wants us to be found with the three seals. That's what we do not want entertainments. We don't want entertainment. We want the proper present truth. And there should be some way the present truth is given to the people. And Sister White saw a living, t pointed test people. Now we are talking about Laodicean. What's wrong with Laodicea? Rich and increased. It, it's unreachable. You know what? Unreachable. <laughs> if you have gone on a mobile and you phone somebody, this, this phone is unreachable. Unreachable. When you are lukewarm, you are unreachable. Very unreachable, but you are entertained. And God says, I will be, I will spew you if you are not reachable. Right. And let's go to the next 18.3. Uh, what is represented by the eye cell? <laughs> First, let us see what makes a man spiritually blind. Right. The one who knows even the number of hairs on our heads mm -hmm. points out that if the light that is in thee be darkness, right? How great is that darkness? It's Matthew chapter six verse twenty-three. If there's somebody who, who goes about saying, "I've got a message, I've got a calling," I've got a call. so you say, "If your calling is is darkness, how great is the calling? <laughs> <laughs> how great is the calling when when that light is darkness? How great is that light? How uh, that darkness?" Is deep darkness, the people, isn't it? And what? Mm -hmm. If if ne if negligence yeah. of making proper use of spiritual light right makes the offender blind right then something having power to arouse in him mm -hmm. zeal to discover the true condition right is his only remedy right. You know what? If you are increased and rich and feel you are rich with truth, but God is saying that truth is making you blind. You only need something hard to wake you up so that you realize how dark the darkness is. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, go further. Only. Only mm -hmm. such an eye self can possibly open his eyes. Mm -hmm. Let me concretely illustrate. Right. Let's hear Individuals often write to the office. Saying, right, right. This is th these are people who are writing to VT whatever. Listen, want to identify these people writing? They were writing. What were they writing? He wants to illustrate what is called richness and blindness. Right. Mm -hmm. Individuals mm -hmm. often write to the office mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. "I heard so much against the shepherd's rod, mm -hmm. and what I heard made me unmercifully prejudiced." Mm -hmm. But I happened to get hold of one of your little trucks. Right. And for Curtis's sake, I thought I would see what it is about. Mm -hmm. But as I read a few pages of it, mm. and as my eyes began to open, mm -hmm. I read the whole tract. Right. I am now anxious to read the rest of your books. Mm -hmm. Will you please send me whatever reading matter you can? You see, this person, the devil had gone ahead, like he's going ahead talking about the shepherd was when he don't doesn't even know it gone ahead to, to to smear it you know the gospel which takes us to be sealed is strongly smeared by the devil 
So many things have been said against it, smeared it. And this person, when he, he received the tract, he was so prejudiced that this is the wrong thing before reading it. But he says when he read it, he said, what? This is not, you know. Some people here, they have died of ignorance because another devil agent has smeared something. When you, you know what? If you want to be very wise in this time, if someone smears anything, go and find it mm -hmm. and read it for yourself. Because the devil is, is very, very cunning. Whatever is right, he smears. But does he smear all the, 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 the films that you are watching in, in your t television? Does he smear them? Does he smear all the comics and books and horrible things that you are reading? Does he smear? He leaves you to read. But the things that make you qualify for heaven is smearing like mad. And there are some people who are so over prejudiced about something that have, they have never have even read. The devil has done a good workshop on your eyes and your brain. Mm -hmm. And here, let's hear another, another one. Another such providential incident mm -hmm. came to our attention from far away China. Mm -hmm. I picked up half of your booklet. Right. Number that's, that's what the person said. I booked, you, I picked your, your, your book, booklet. Yeah. Truck number 13 mm -hmm. on the street. Mm -hmm. And my wife, mm. a few days later, picked up the other half beside the cab mm. of the same drive. Mm. I pieced them together and got your address. Right. I am deeply interested in all it contains mm -hmm. and I'm anxiously waiting to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me everything? That will help me find my joy. Right. Do you see there are people who received the, the tracts from VT Hotel. And one first was prejudiced. But when read, after reading, was interested. And this one picked it from, that person away from China. Picked it and said, yay, can you give me more? Mm -hmm. Now let's hear what he comments. Mm -hmm. These truth-searching brethren. Mm -hmm obviously represent those who can be pried out of their Laodiceanism. Right. So what was happening to these ones? The, initially, they were Laodiceans before reading the message. Mm -hmm. But when they read the message, they are being hooked out of the Laodiceanism. Yeah. Right? Their experiences mm. will illustrate that mm. the self represents inspiration's timely, timely truth. truth. So what is the eye self? It's the truth that they read. It opened their eyes. Have you, have you watched a video or have you read a book? And he says, it is, ha, ah, I did not know. This verse meant that it means God is trying to open your eyes. God is trying to remove the eye self from your eyes. Or God is trying to remove you from Laodiceanism which is what we need to do. Now, let's, let's hear again, you know, this exposition, they're helping out, isn't it? Uh, now, let, now let me tell you. Now, mm. let me tell you of another class of individuals. individuals. Listen to them. We have had a good class there. Mm -hmm. One was prejudiced. One was not prejudiced. Was really a, a searcher. Sincere. Mm -hmm. Sincere searcher. Now, we, are, we want another class. Let's hear. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. let me tell you of another class of individuals, individuals from yeah. whom I often hear. Right. Listen to what they say. Right. Please. Please. Keep your rod to yourself. Keep your rod to yourself. Take my name from your mailing list. Whatever mailing list you have, I'm remove not my name. In I'm the not least interested in what you were doing. I'm not interested. Right. Your booklets. Your booklets. Go into the fire just as soon as they come. Mm -hmm. I, I never read them. Mm. And I never will. Mm. No. Not a line. Mm -hmm. I am satisfied with my religion. Mm -hmm. I belong to the true remnant church and I expect to go with it. Mm. How dare you try to deceive me? There are people who are ever watching for someone coming to re deceive them. Just as we are watching even online, you can see somebody listens and says, Amen. Someone says, Amen and Amen. Hey. This is a deceiver. This is a satanic. This is, you know, there are two people watching right now. There are two people watching, different ones. One is a Laodicean and the other is a truth searcher. 
whose eyes are being opened, the eyes of removed. Now let's hear the commentary on that. Mm -hmm. Another, Another one. Says, yeah. Please. Please. Do not, do not send, send me any, any more, more of, of your, your literature. literature. Mm. Is I am satisfied with my own views. Right. Do you know what happens? Have you heard what is called a paradigm shift? Mm -hmm. When you read the truth, there is a conviction in your heart. God sent the Spirit to convict your heart, your conscience. And the conscience knows this is truth. Mm -hmm. But because the truth comes against what you already knew as truth. Then you run into a condition called a, a paradigm shift or confusion. See, somebody said, now I don't know which one to believe. Mm -hmm. Someone told me that we have to go to, to, to heaven first before the kingdom and now this scripture says is the kingdom first before heaven you come into what is called a paradigm shift or confusion the only remedy is to choose the truth to come off that shift paradigm shift you have to choose the truth according to what the bible says but if you say this is confusing me. Stop, stop. When anyone who stops you, who says stop sending or stop watching or stop whatever, is in a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. is, is having conviction and is trying to fight the conviction. And that's why he's stopping. But the only cure or remedy to that condition is to choose the truth. Because if you stop the voice of the conscience, the, the Holy Spirit in the heart, speaks louder. Start what is called a, a real intensive war in your heart. You won't rest. And then you say, you're causing trouble. You're causing trouble with us. You're causing trouble. No, 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 there's no trouble. You are fighting your conscience. There's no trouble. You people, you're causing trouble. No, 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 there's no trouble. The only thing is, you are fighting conviction. That's the trouble. Because there's no trouble. All these denominations, they're, they're, they're preaching something different, something new to you. It doesn't cause trouble. It doesn't. Because you know, when you search the Bible, sometimes you don't find it. You are fine. You, are, you can. But if your questions are not calm, you are fighting conviction. That's the trouble. And that's when you do not follow what the Bible is saying, what the truth is saying to you, then you proclaim painful words like satanic, offshoot, whatever. They are coming from a mind, a conscience which is fighting conviction. The truth, anything that is error does not cause you to, to spit at somebody who is spit preaching error. If somebody tells you the, the day of the Lord is a Sunday, you know it's Sabbath, would you say, go away, But this one that you are calling by all these painful words, you are fighting conviction. You are fighting conviction. Let us be truthful. So, so let's hear what, please keep, don't send me anything. It's fighting conviction. Now, let's hear this kind. This kind of talk mm -hmm. is typically laudition. It is a talk which is typically laudition. If you start and start satanizing and focusing people, it's a typical laudition language. Right? Uh -huh. It perfectly expresses their lukewarmness. It expresses a lukewarm heart. Yeah? The Lord, though, uh -huh. is against their attitude. The, the Lord is against that attitude. Yeah. Is there anything mm -hmm. which could be more completely and more quickly sever one's communication line with God forever than an attitude of having of, of having all, all the, the truth, truth and of having need of no more? When you have that attitude that I've got everything, I don't need you. Don't go away with your message. I don't need 
The Bible doesn't say so. The Bible says, "Pinch not." Yeah. Give an ear. Despise not. Prophet, prove the word. Mm. If it's wrong, discard. If it's right, hold get fast. hold, hold fast to what is truth. That's what the Bible says. It doesn't say phone the person and say stop, or write the person and say. I don't want to hear. It doesn't say that, that language is Laodicean language and it's a language of someone fighting conscience. Hmm. Now read on. Uh -huh. Is there anything mm -hmm. which could more completely and more quickly sever one's communication line with God? There's forever? nothing more than that which can sever your connection with, with God, God forever. forever. Than an attitude. Right. Of having all the truth and of having need of no more. If you have all the truth and you feel you have need of no more, that will save a connection with God. Remember the, the admonition to the Laodicean. He says, remember I will spew you if you do not repent. Mm -hmm. If you are not going to anoint your eyes with eye cell, I will spew thee. So when you go with that attitude, when the truth comes to you, and your attitude is stay with it. I don't want to hear. I don't want even to hear. I, you know, all the actions that we are doing, they save our connection with God. Right. Uh -huh. if the, the, group, language, the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. This group of mm -hmm. auditions right? will never, will never, never, never have their eyes open. Uh, uh, the, the person who stops somebody will never be opened. God will never. If you, if you, the last group of the people who say, please stop, or if you, and your book comes, I'll ban it, or you, or, they will never be opened. God will never. They will stay stagnant. And this group of Laodiceans mm -hmm. will never, mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. have their eyes opened, mm -hmm. will never be anything but wretched. Right. Miserable. Miserable. Poor. Yeah. Blind and naked. Right. They can never be reached by heaven. Right. Not even by the Lord himself. Right. Mm -hmm. If they thus continue, did you hear Christ saying, saying, even if they, they have someone coming from the grave, they will never. These are the type of people they will never, never. Mm -hmm. They can never be reached by heaven, mm -hmm. not even by the Lord Himself. Right? If they thus continue, then the only thing Christ can do is to spew them out of His mouth. Right? Never again to mention their names at the throne of grace. Right? Anything, Anything new mm. from the Bible that is brought out by anyone but themselves, mm -hmm. even though purported to be through inspiration, mm. they hastily brand deception. Mm -hmm. Though they are already in a gross self-deception. Do we have people who anything new they see, which they don't know? They don't even have the courtesy to check in the Bible. They just say, what do you say? Ah, deception. that's deception. Anything new, they brand it as deception, right? And they read the Bible. They read the Bible yeah. with the hope of finding proof for which to disagree with everyone. But That's themselves. all they read the Bible for. Not to be enlightened, but to, disagree. but to disapprove. I need to disapprove that woman. Let me find a verse to disapprove. They will never, they will never be enlightened. And, um, Let's read. Uh -huh. Let me Let illustrate. Me illustrate. Mm -hmm. I may be on the way to right. the bank with a million dollars. Right. And I may seriously believe that I'm a millionaire. Did you see that? You carry your money and you're on the way with a million. Yeah? A million notes. Mm. And you are on your way to the bank. Uh -huh. But suppose the banker mm. tells me mm. your money is counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> and you are at the... At the Bank teller there says, you know what we brought? It's just counterfeit. Counterfeit. Right? Uh -huh. And suppose I have no other. Mm -hmm. Then how rich would I be? How rich would I be? Uh -huh. I would be as rich as is the angel of Laodicea. <laughs> you, you know what? It reminds me one year I went to the car boot sale. And I found some a, a shrewd dealer and was selling phones. Phones, iPhones, nice ones. And there were so, so many of them in a box. And I said, 
he, he, he showed me the first one, it was nice. Looked nice, an iPhone in a box. How many are they? They were about 50 in the box. And he says, you can buy those, just give me 100 pounds. You get the whole box. Oh, I said, my husband, we had 50, 50 pounds that day. And I said, go and get, get another 50 from the bank. Go, when we need to buy these phones, we will make a lot of money out of these phones. We bought them. We bought them. My husband was a bit hesitant. Ah, we, we didn't even come for the phones. We didn't come for the phones. Let's just leave. I said, no, you know what? That's why we suffer. We do, you know, go, go and buy. He went to get the 50 pound. He bought the phones. And we carried them. We carried them. And we brought them at, at home. The children were happy. Phones! I will also have two. You know, the children were happy. And then we now wanted to charge the phones. You know, the very first reminder was that there was no way to charge the phone. There was no way. But all the way when we were driving, we thought we were so rich, you know. <laughs> we are so rich with huh? how many phones? Ah! Then we wanted to charge the first one to see how it works. But we didn't even ask that man, where are the phone chargers? No! We only want to grab the box and, you know, and we wanted to charge the first one and we couldn't find a hole just to put the charger on. No way to charge the phone. But we decided, let's carry this phone to the shops where they sell phones. So let's just carry one and go and show them. So we went to show them. And the person was saying, where did you buy this phone? They said, we, we bought from a man who said, he was coming from London. That man, he, he sold us these phones. And I said, and you looked at us. And he said, you really? How many did you buy? I said, oh, there's so many. About 50. 50? How much did you pay? I said, we paid 100. And we got 50. 50 good funds. And he says, I'm afraid to tell you what. They are dummies. Oh my goodness. We did not know these funds came as an iPhone when they are dummies. We came back and my husband was saying, mm, I told you. <laughs> you know what? How we felt when we came back that these were dummies. They were just fit to be given to toddlers who were crawling there. Now I'm hearing about this banker. He's carried one million and they told him all the money is fake, it's counterfeit money. Now, let's hear what Victor Otep said. Then how rich would I be? Then, then how rich then is this man? I would be as rich as the angel of Laodicea. <laughs> you see, you see, that's having a false security that you are rich and increased with nothing when God says, what do you have? It's nothing. Is it really nothing? What? No. Is it, finish that paragraph. What is, is it really nothing? Mm -hmm. Just such an eye-opening experience mm -hmm. is what the Laodiceans need. Mm -hmm. Unless something like it happens to them. Unless we went to the shop and the shop owners told us these were dummies. Really, we were not we are going to go years and years in thinking we've got 50 phones. We are rich as 50 phones in our in our home. And what? Mm -hmm. Just such an eye-opening experience mm -hmm. is what the Laodiceans need. Mm -hmm. Unless something like it happens to them, they will mm -hmm. forever think that they are rich and in need of nothing more. Right. Someday, though, not long hence, mm -hmm. the heavenly watcher himself mm -hmm. will demonstrate to them Mm. Face to face that their gold is not tried in the fire. Right. Then their eyes will be opened, but mm. not soon enough to do them any good. I need that quotation. It's 5T, I think. It says, what great, greater deception? Yeah, go to it. It's testimonies. Mm. Three, Volume two. 5. What Sister White says about our condition. Three, three, two. Two, five, two. Yeah, 252. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What greater deception can come upon the human mind? You see what Sister White says? What greater deception? We are the, a deception with those phones, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What greater deception 
if you allow this yet, what greater deception right, uh -huh, can come upon the human can mind? Can come upon the human mind. Than a confidence. Than a confidence. That they are right when they, they are, are all right wrong. when they are all not in one portion. He says all wrong. That's what Sister White says. That there is a condition that makes us, you know, we are deceived, thinking we are right when we are all wrong. What? Yeah. The messenger, right? the message of the true witness, right? Find the people of God mm. in a set deception, right? Yet but honest, honest in, in that it. deception. Imagine how honest we are with these dummies. Mm. We were so honest that we had phones. It only needed somebody to break through to tell us they were dummies. How honest this banker was, thinking he's got money. A million. And yet he had nothing. Now, Sister White is saying, also our condition as a church, there is a better deception that we are all right when we are all mm -hmm. wrong. What? Uh -huh. They know not mm. that their condition mm. is deplorable in the sight of God. Very deplorable. While those addressed mm. are flattering themselves mm. that they are in an exalted spiritual condition, right? the message of the true witness right? breaks, breaks their, their security. security. By the startling denunciation of their true condition mm. of spiritual blindness, blind poverty, poverty, and wretchedness, wretchedness, the testimony, the testimony so, so cutting, cutting and severe, right, cannot be a mistake. Right, for it is the true witness who speaks, and his testimony must be correct. Now, Sister White, supporting what Viti whatever said, is the true. But what do we hear? It will never sink. It will never sink. It will never sing. But here it says, what greater deception is that? The testimony so cutting cannot be wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, let, let's hear a, a, by a, a person special. Mm. We are I, able, sorry, we are able to identify his race. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. When you say this one is in, in South African, what have you seen? The first. When you say this one is Filipino, it's a face. This one is British. It's a face. By the facial characteristics, we are able to identify his race. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And similarly, mm -hmm. we can judge right? one's profession mm -hmm. by the type of clothes he wears. Yeah. A nurse. How do you know he's a nurse? The uniform. The uniform. The police. The uniform. The, uniform. the soldier. The mm -hmm. uniform. By what you wear. We know your profession your profession right mm -hmm. if a person <clears throat> wears fine clothes right and is not decked with everything he can put on mm -hmm. we judge him to be a businessman that's a businessman right if he wears mm -hmm. lower grade clothes mm. and has on his body every trinket he can pin on mm. then we can judge him to be a cheap spot right if he is clothed in overalls mm. we judge him to be a laborer right when you are going out there for jogging would you put your suit? Your suit? <laughs> no. So when we are seeing you joking with a suit, we say there's something, there's something wrong there, isn't it? But we expect when you are joking, we are putting on a light t-shirt and maybe a box, a, 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 a trousers, a loose trousers, or a training, a train, a trainers and whatever. There is what we expect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> listen. Uh -huh. If he's clothed in overalls, mm -hmm. we judge him to be a laborer. Right. If he is dressed otherwise, mm. we judge him to be a white collar worker. Right. But if he wears no, no clothes, clothes, then no one but God can tell what he is. So because Laodicean says they are poor and naked, there's no cloth there. So who can judge? There's sometimes we we can't judge. You know, I said sometime with people who were Sabbath keepers in in a certain boardroom workshop. So it was lunch time, and most of them knew I was a vegetarian. So when we ordered our meals, they ordered their chickens and everything, and I was say, oh, oh, we are we are Sabbath keepers, but look, uh, that one has got chicken, that one has got oxtail, that one. Is, and when they came to me, I said, okay, anything vegetarian. That's all I said. I'm, I'm vegetarian. You know, only when you say vegetarian, you have no choice. They just go and prepare a vegetarian for you. You don't say, I want potato mingled with carrots or whatever. You don't tell them what to say. Just say vegetarian. Even in the plane, when you say vegetarian, they just bring vegetarian. 
they don't but when you are eating those things they come and say is it chicken or fish or, or oxtail or whatever so there was so much of that but we are all sabbath keepers and when the time came when we were eating you know, you, 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 you sense some silence, which is a talking silence. You know, some silence. You can see that it's, it's not silence, it's communication. It's the silence which was there was just communication because there's someone who is also a Sabbath keeper here who is not eating oxtail, who is not eating chicken, who is not... But uh, steadily, I was eating my vegetables, my vegetarian, don't know what nice meal it was. So, but there was one who was not a Sabbath keeper. I don't know which church he, that person belonged. It was like some other churches. I can't mention names. So he asked my name, called my name, direct, and then said, "What do we, what does a your dog at home eat?" That was the question. Uh, actually says what do your children eat then I said my children says yes then I say they eat what I eat vegetarian and then they said really then I said even my dog my dog is vegetarian the whole table broke in laughter the Sabbath keepers, they were laughing. They, they broke in. This is a, a, a true thing that happened. They laughed. Ah, 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 some were over, going to choke with laughter. Then I was quite looking at them like that. Because I said, even my dog is a vegetarian, they laughed. But that person who was not a Sabbath keeper said, I think she's right. Mm. She, yeah, she said so. She says, I think she's right. Because where would the dog get the meat from? Because yours, they get the meat from yeah. where for your plates, what you leave, your leftovers you give your dogs. Where would the dog get the meat from? And then that person went on to say, there was another one there who was not a Sabbath keeper. He says, that one then is what we call a Sabbath keeper. He says, why? Because the, the Sabbath keepers we know do not eat meat. You know what? We are known on earth of that we don't eat meat. Everyone knows. The only person who doesn't know that we, we are vegetarians is a Sabbath keeper. Now, let me tell you one thing. You judge people where they come from, from the facial expression, or from what they eat. We could judge who you are talking to. Now, read on. Read. But if he wears no clothes, mm -hmm. then no one but God can tell what he is. Right. Such is the logician. Mm -hmm. Now, if the white garment represents Christ's righteousness, mm -hmm. then if one has on no garment at all, no garment at all, is naked, is naked, then whose righteousness would he have? So, meaning, when they, they were expecting to see Sabbath keepers, they, they were expecting to see vegetarians. Mm -hmm. But now he says, you know what? These are the ones that we know from the word go, we knew that Sabbath keepers, they don't take meat. Anywhere you go, whether any plan, you tell them I'm a vegetarian, they say, oh, are you a Sabbath keeper? They ask you a good question. They judge what you are from what you eat. Now, read. Uh -huh. Then whose righteousness would he have? Mm -hmm. Self-righteousness. Right. Only the skin in which he was born. Right. The Laodicean's nakedness represents just that mm -hmm. but they know it not right in all respect i realize this is saying much but it is not saying too much because it is the lord who says it it's the lord who says you are wretched and poor don't say oh that one is saying we are wretched no 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 go to verse 3 i mean chapter 3 of revelation chapter 3 verse 14 is the one that says you're wretched and poor and we, uh, and go to sister white who says what greater deception can come upon a, a, a mind of thinking that they are all right when they are all wrong. Not one piece is right, but all wrong. And then here it says, if you do the opposite. If you do the opposite of what the Laodiceans do, mm. then of course 
you cannot still be a logician if you don't join in what they do then of course you are not a, a logician yeah mm-hmm. yeah and it is just as easy to know whether you are a davidian or not it's easy to know who you are whether you're a davidian or a branch it's easy to know mm-hmm. right to find out mm-hmm. if you are a davidian mm-hmm. you must first know what mm. a davidian is right well mm. briefly stated mm. a davidian is recognized by his garment right by the source from which he gets it right and by what he gives in exchange for it right the prophet zachariah explains right let's go to zachariah chapter 3 verse 1 mm-hmm. and he showed me joshua the high priest standing before that the is a verse the and he showed me joshua the high priest let's study this prophecy uh-huh. standing before the high priest mm-hmm. sorry mm. let me start again and he showed me Joshua the high that's priest. That's a verse. Go to chapter 3 of jo- Zechariah, chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. That's a verse. Uh-huh. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing right. before the angel of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And Satan standing mm-hmm. at his right hand to resist him. Right. And the Lord said unto Satan, Right. The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Mm-hmm. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Right. Is not this a brand plugged out of the fire? Mm-hmm. Now, Joshua was clothed with filthy garments mm. and stood before the angel. Mm-hmm. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, mm. Take away the filthy garments from him. Mm-hmm. And unto him he said, mm. Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, mm. and I will clothe thee with the change of raiment. Right. You need a change of raiment. But here we are being told about the prophecy of, the, of Joshua. Why Joshua? Because Joshua is the one who took over Moses. Mm-hmm. And when he took over Moses, he's the one who made the Israelites go into Canaan. Now, we are being told at the last day, there is someone also like Joshua. At our time, there is someone like Joshua. We have been told that there are garments which we have to, we, we are not dressed, somebody who, who was not in the wedding garment. It's in our time, isn't it? And we are told that there is someone who needed to anoint myself to see now this removing removal of the of the dressing of the garment is now in the prophets of joshua you understand Mm -hmm. now let's hear Mm -hmm. the first one to be given the garment right is Is joshua Joshua, right the high priest the high priest the highest official in the church there is a highest now official in the church is joshua right and if he is not the wedding garment Mm -hmm. Then no one else has it either. So now when this angel has no is naked, it's not dressed. You understand? Mm-hmm. Then if this this Joshua who is supposed to receive the garment first, according to the prophecy of Zechariah chapter 4, verse 1 to 4, the one that we they showed me Joshua. But then we are seeing this Joshua has no garment, right? Mm-hmm. From this, we see that Mm. the genuine revival and reformation Mm. starts at the head. Right. Not in the right to put the wedding garment on. Mm -hmm. His iniquity is taken away. Uh He repents of his sins and Mm -hmm. the Lord blots them out. Right. We saw when we read that Joshua was standing with what? We read it. And, the, and, and he showed me Joshua the high priest right? standing before the angel of the Lord mm-hmm. and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. You remember the angel of the Lord is the one that the Holy Ghost is the one who is supposed to dress Joshua with righteousness. But Satan was there trying to resist. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto Satan, mm. The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Right. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Right. Is not this a brand plugged, plugged out, out of, of the fire. fire. Mm-hmm. Now, eh. Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. Right. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, mm-hmm. Take, Take away, away the, the filthy, filthy garments, garments from him. Right. And unto him he said, mm. Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee. So this naked, this naked leader, supposed to be clothed with raiment, or supposed to start a revival and reformation so that because God said if you do not repent I will spew thee 
Now we are seeing how he's supposed to remove that filthy garment and have a raiment from the angel of the Lord. Right? And the first one. The first one to be given the garment is Joshua. Right? The high priest. Mm -hmm. The highest official in the church. Right? If he has not the wedding garment, then no one else is it, has it either. Right? From this we see that mm. the genuine revival and reformation starts at the head. Right? Not at, at the, the feet. feet. Mm -hmm. And that before one is given the right to put the wedding garment on, mm -hmm. his iniquity is taken away. Right? He repents of his sins and the Lord blows them out. Right? Satan though, mm. Is, is right there at the right hand to resist and accuse him right but thanks be to god mm -hmm. that the lord is also there to rebuke the enemy right do you catch the lesson dear brother sister? did you catch that lesson uh-huh while you are getting the garment right you will have to meet strong opposition right once you are you are going to be pulled out from the laodiceanism it's not going to be an easy game you will you will meet strong, strong opposition, opposition. From who? Because our 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 we are used to that Laodiceanism of rich and what increased, but to come off it, there is a lot of resistance. From who? From those who know you, from fellow believers, from family and relatives and friends. Once God will pull you out of the Laodiceanism, and what? Mm -hmm. But what of it? Mm. Is, is it, it too, too much, much to, to stand, stand family, family for truth and righteousness mm -hmm. when the majority forsake? Right. And how else shall you become a hero for God? Right. Right. The apostles and the prophets not only withstood opposition from their brethren. Right. But they even gladly died, died for, for their, their white garment. garment. The apostles, the way they came off from that Jewish church, they were shunned. And some of them died. They died for the truth. Because their leader, Christ, who was leading, taking that righteousness to them. For them, the rest remained in that blanket of resisting the message from Christ. But those who joined Christ, they had to do it the hard way. And then, mm -hmm. you though, eh. are not now asked to give up for your life. Right, but to save it, right, the tables are, are now reversed. reversed. Right, the Lord will not permit you to be consumed, consumed by, by the flame, the flame. Mm -hmm. He is to rescue you as a brand, brand plucked, plucked out, out of, of the, the fire. fire. Mm -hmm. From this verse, we see that eh. the Joshua of today, right, is having his filthy garments, garments exchanged for white robes for the righteousness of Christ. Right, what is the righteousness of Christ? The branch message Amen. for you to have that righteousness of Christ which is the branch message, the Lord, our righteousness. You have got to be pulled out from the plucked. Is it plucked out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A brand plucked and out of the fire. A brand plucked out of the fire. Right? And verse 5 of, of Zechariah chapter, chapter, okay. chapter 3. Mitre upon his head. Right? So they set a fair mitre upon his head and mm -hmm. clothed him with garments. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord stood by. This is how the leader who is to make this reformation, the movement to, to, to join the Revelation 18 movement. This is what is done to the, to the leader. It says, and I said, let, let them set a fair might. What is that might for? For being a prophet, for being a ruler, for being a, a lawgiver, and what? And the angel of the Lord stood by. Right, and what happened? The angel of the Lord stood by the movement, is Joshua movement, or Revelation 18. The angel of the Lord stood by, and they put a fair meter, or made that person a ruler of all. You remember that Matthew 24, whoever was found giving out meat in due season was made a ruler of all, isn't it? And what? Eh? Verse 5. Right. And uh, I say, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, we read this. Yeah. Uh, 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 let's go to the commentary. Not only. On T and one T G eight space twenty three. Yeah. Not only. Not only is he clothed in a white garment. No. But he's also crowned with a fair mitre. There's a fair, fair the leader who should lead the movement of Revelation eighteen should have a fair mitre, right? 
And what could such a matter denote mm -hmm. other than the authority vested in him yes, as him. heaven's appointed ruler? Authority vested to him by heaven, heaven's appointed ruler. ruler. Mm -hmm. as, as such, such he is clothed from his head to his feet. Right. And the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord was stand by. What a gift. That's a gift. Mm -hmm. And what a bodyguard. What a bodyguard. For one to have in right? a world such as ours. Right. In spite of it though, mm -hmm. human beings are very slow and hesitant to take their stand on the Lord's side. Right. Most of them had They'd rather, rather lean on, on men, men than take their stand on God's side. But the person who's best be the leader of the movement of the last movement led by Joshua and being an antitype of Joshua has a fair matter. And heaven's authority is on him right and verse 8 here now oh joshua the high priest oh joshua the high priest now that's the person leading the revelation 18 movement and thou and thy fellows that yeah. sit before thee right for they are men wondered at right for behold i will bring forth my servant the branch that becomes the branch movement now he says you and those people that are following that are also in the branch message they are men wondered it who is wondering those who are still in laodicea wonder at this one what these people why they are saying amen amen to the branch message being fulfilled you are men wondered it are you wondering at these people i wonder stop wondering join them join them instead of wondering right uh-huh not, only, Not Joshua, only Joshua, but also those who sit before him, right? which is the congregation, mm -hmm. are admonished to hear his charge. Right? At what? Sorry. And what kind of men are they? Mm -hmm. Men wondered. Men it. wondered it. Right? Symbolism, what is the name of these people? Men wondered it. Some people will say, what, what, "Which church do you belong to?" I belong to men wondered it. That's the new name. Men wondered it. Who is wondering? Laodicean who are rich and increased wonder at you right mm -hmm. this symbolism mm. shows that at the fulfillment of this prophecy the angel of the church of the laodiceans is no, no longer, longer in charge. charge of the lord's house right and that god's people are to be made up wholly of men wondered at right is vt water speaking together with sister white yes in 5t testimony for the church volume 5 page 80 we know that the leadership will change it says so read on him those yes okay mm. from the beginning of that okay mm. the days are fast approaching right when there will be great perplexity and confusion yeah satan uh -huh. clothed in angel robes right will deceive if possible the very, very elect. elect right there will be god's many god's many and lord's many lord's many every wind of doctrine will be blowing because people will be introduced to creeds and the creeds is anyone who will come with anything any invention will put it in the creeds we'll put it we will need the bible and the bible alone we need the bible and the bible alone there are people who run away from this creed they will be led by joshua right read on mm -hmm. every wind of doctrine will be blowing mm -hmm. those who have rendered supreme homage to science falsely so called right will not be the leaders then science falsely so called is theology isn't it mm -hmm. so it says they won't be the leaders then is it together with his, this prophet of joshua of zechariah chapter 3 it says he showed me joshua you joshua and sister i say i saw the living pointed testimony being revived to what to lead this reformation and yet joshua in the zechariah chapter 3 say he showed me joshua being given taken off the filthy garment and put the what the, the white raiment and now given men a congregation all men wondered at right uh -huh. Those who have trusted to intellect, mm -hmm. genius or talent, mm -hmm. will not then stand at the hang head of rank and file. Right? They did not keep pace with the light. Mm -hmm. Those who have proved themselves unfaithful will mm -hmm. not then be entrusted with the flock. Mm -hmm. In the last solemn work, few, few great, great men, men will, will be, be engaged. engaged. There are people who trust in great men. You will remain with them because the movement will be, the movement will be, the Revelation chapter 18 
will be led by Joshua. Now let's go back to 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 ten repeatings where he says, um, obviously then. Obviously then, mm -hmm. as a result of this, this revival, revival and, and reformation, reformation mm -hmm. within the Laodicean church, it is within the Laodicean church. Yeah, another church, another church images, images of, of which Joshua, Joshua is, is in charge. charge. Did you hear that? Not the angel of Laodicea. Not the angel of Laodicea. Did you hear? This is, is a prophecy being fulfilled. According to this revival and reformation, another church is to emerge, emerge from Laodicea, of which Joshua is in charge. Which one is this one? It has been given the branch message. We saw that in 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 in, 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 in verse is got back to the verse five, I think. Wait. Gave the cha uh, Zechariah chapter 3 verse 5 verse 5 and mm -hmm. I said mm -hmm. let them set a fair might upon his head right so they set a fair might upon his head mm -hmm. and clothed him with garments mm -hmm. and the angel of the Lord stood by where it says the branch message was given okay. verse 4 I think mm. read on, on where verse 8 sorry verse 8 oh, verse 8 mm -hmm. verse 5 verse 8 okay mm -hmm. Hear now, hear now, O Joshua, <laughs> yeah? the high priest, right? Thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, mm. for they are men who wonder yet. Mm -hmm. For behold, I'll bring forth my servant, the, the branch. branch. Now, this message led by Joshua will be given a leader who is Christ, the branch. And what are those men who wondered yet? They are also branches. Amen. Do you understand? They are also branches. So it's also, it also. Explains well when Isaiah chapter 4. Go to Isaiah chapter 4. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. Yeah. And in that day. In that day. Seven women. So it is in this day where Joshua is leading and be given what? The branch message, right? Uh -huh. And in that day. In that day. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Right? Say, mm -hmm. we will eat our own apple. So seven we'll women. Women in our churches, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Complete Christendom. Seven. What do they say? We'll eat our own bread. We'll eat our own bread. And wear our own we'll apparel. Wear our own righteousness. Only. Only. Let us be called by thy name. We want to be called by the name of to Christ. To take away our reproach. So that we take away our reproach. So that people don't think we are in a club. Do you understand? In that same day, what happens? In that day. Right? Verse 2. Shall the branch of the Lord. Then the branch of the Lord. Shall be beautiful. Out. It will be beautiful. And glorious. And glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and, and comely. And the fruit of the earth shall for be For them that are escaped of Israel. Do you understand? In that same day when men are eating their own bread, what happens? The branch shall come out, shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth. You know, it's, it's only when you know how to identify what a branch is. What is a branch? What is a branch? You know, if they ask you, are you... A Christian. That's why I, I, I only marveled when I went to Israel. When they ask you, are you a Christian? Do you know what they mean? They mean a follower of Christ, but not a keeper of the law. Of course, they're not keeping the feast. That's the law of God. The feast are not being kept, right? Yeah, Passover, Day of Atonement, a Pentecost, Tabernacle in the right place. That's what they mean. Are you a Christian? You mean... You are a follower of Christ, but not a follower of his feasts or his laws and feasts. That's what a Christian is. And then when you say, well, are you a Jew? Yes, they are. They don't follow Christ, but they all have all the laws and all the, 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 the feasts. They keep all the feasts. Right? And then, when you say, are you a branch? You keep all the feasts and all the the, the, the law and also follow Christ you've got all of them together Amen. that's a branch Amen. do you understand that's why in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 2 say, in that day the branch shall be beautiful, beautiful and glorious. Why, why because they follow Christ and also have the law oh, and the feasts Amen. you keep all of them together then he says you shall be beautiful and glorious and comely and what else read on 
in that day right shall the branch of the lord be beautiful beautiful and glorious and glorious and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely right for them that are scared of israel right and it shall come to pass right that. so you see you see what what it is to be a branch you follow christ and also keep the law the ten commandments and the feast that's why god said they shall be beautiful the branch shall be beautiful and glorious, glorious and comely and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent excellent that's what it is so here joshua movement starts from within the laodicean church do you understand why it has got the branch message what does he have it is it follows christ and keeps the the ten commandments and keeps the feasts and what is it called branch shall be beautiful Right? Read on. Mm -hmm. Obviously then, mm -hmm. as a result of this revival and reformation right? within the Laodicean church, mm -hmm. another church emerges of which Joshua is in charge. Right? Not the angel of Laodicea. Not the angel of Laodicean anymore. No. Right? Uh -huh. In it, there are to be neither tears. No tears. Or bad fish. No bad fish. Or gods. Yeah. The Laodicean, which is the seven. Is the last that is commingled with hypocrites, saints, and sinners. But the church triumphant has no hypocrites. It only has wit only. But what it is, it is the branch. Amen. The branch, if we saw in Acts, chapter, Acts of the Apostles, 595, go back to it. On the church triumphant, it is led by Joshua. Mm -hmm. Five nine five. Mm -hmm. Upon the foundation that Christ Himself had laid, mm -hmm. the apostles built the church of God. Mm -hmm. In the scriptures, the figure of the erection of a temple is frequently used to illustrate the building of the church. Mm -hmm. Zechariah refers to Christ as the branch that should build the temple of the Lord. Right. That's what even the Laodicean should know is the branch which will build, build the temple. Church. And the the the, the, the should know. Well, when we go to 1T, 1TG, 8, space 24, 4th paragraph, brother VT Hotel himself says it is the branch which will do it. Let's hear. One who two. is? Who is to bring? Who is to bring this, this revival, revival and of Joshua? This, this great revival, change. The revival of Joshua. Who is to bring this revival and this great change? <laughs> The branch. the branch and according to Isaiah 11 1 to 5 mm -hmm. the branch is the Lord right the son of David mm -hmm. we shall now read so we are going we are going to Zechariah chapter 3 verse 9 right verse oh, 9 behold, mm -hmm. the stone that I have laid before Joshua right upon one stone shall be seven eyes right behold I will engrave the graving thereof mm -hmm. said the Lord of hosts mm -hmm. and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day right those who sit before, before Joshua, Joshua right? are men, men wondered, wondered it. As such, they are depicted by the stone. So what is the stone? The church. The kingdom. Or the kingdom. The church triumphant. Right? Uh -huh. That is in Joshua's sight. Right. So the church triumphant is led by Joshua. Is led by the branch. Right? Uh -huh. It is it is seven eye. Right? Perfect vision. Perfect vision. When this purification of the church takes place, mm -hmm. then the sin in the land is quickly removed in, in one day. day. You see, the church triumphant is led by a revival and reformation. And the prophet now images another church from the Laodicean church, led by Joshua. That's what we that's what we read from that prophet. And what? Here is he is seeing genuine revival and reformation, right? Accompanied, accompanied by, by the, the purification, purification of the church, church, right? The Lord is to have a pure church and a clean people, right? Verse ten. In that day, in that said day, the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. shall we call every man his neighbor under the vine and under the fig tree, right? In that day, mm -hmm. in the day this purification takes place, right? The gospel work is to quick is to be quickly finished, finished by having every member of the Lord's house. Call his neighbor to his own patch of land, to that which God has preordained that everyone should have. Mm -hmm. Every member, therefore, is to be a missionary in one capacity or in another. That's what God says. In that day, they shall be, they shall be, uh, the, the glory of the Lord will be known in all the land. Mm -hmm. All 
all earth shall be filled with the glory of God. It is this movement, the Joshua movement. That's why we, we, we saw you know, Zacharias chapter 6. Is, go to Zacharias chapter 6, verse 11. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. Then take silver and gold right? and, and make crowns and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, right. the high priest. Right. The angel is commanded to take silver and, and gold, gold and to make, make crowns, crowns. Not one, mm -hmm. but more than one. Right. These, so what are these crowns? These are set. These are set upon, upon Joshua's, Joshua's head. head. You see what is happening to the prophet who leads the movement in the last day in Revelation chapter eighteen, which is Joshua's movement, which is the branch movement. The leader, they set crowns, crowns on the leader, and what? And the crowns. Crowns in. And the crowns shall, shall be one to Helen, Helen to Tobijah, Tobijah, and to Jediah, right? and to Han and the son of Zephaniah, right? for a memorial in, in the, the temple, temple of, of the Lord. Lord. Right? Verse 14, Zechariah 3, verse 14. Eh? Joshua is to pass the crowns right? onto his helpers, Help us. whom the Lord himself That's names. why when Joshua starts this movement, Joshua now starts ordaining a proper ministry. Because you remember Pastor Dewey was preaching the other day saying, where are these gifts? Mm -hmm. So these gifts now are sent back to the Joshua movement. Mm -hmm. The movement that is emerging out of the Laodicean movement, that's where you have a, like it started with Sister White. She's the one who was a prophet and ordained who? James White. James White as a pastor, president, everywhere. He ordained all the pastors, he had elders, he had elders. Now you see a movement which starts having pastors, elders, deacons, all as a, a correct setup as it was in 1844. It emerges now in the Laodicean church coming out under the leadership of Joshua or the prophet of the last day of Revelation 18. This is what is happening. Whether we like it or not, it will happen because it's prophesied. If it is prophesied, this is what Christ when he comes, will come to join that proper organization. This is the real organization which Sister White was saying, we need a revival and reformation, a reorganization. That's a revival and reformation. So, and what? Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, reveals that Joshua is to pass the crowns to his helpers, right? whom the Lord himself names. Right? This is to be a memorial, an everlasting reminder in the temple of the Lord. Do you know that those who are ordained now, are not trained in institutes like we saw in in mm -hmm. volume 5 t5 page 80 mm -hmm. they are not coming from institutions stone not mm -hmm. cut from hands mm -hmm. by human hands you see that stone hitting the the, the statue of nebuchadnezzar from the toes is now from joshua crowning he says here this is to be the memorial uh, uh, actually the lord himself names he says it reveals joshua is to pass the crowns on to his helpers whom the lord himself names so we saw joshua given crowns and also passing to tobiah helen to, to, to what so these so are the Jedi. pastors and the elders who are now imaging who are not trained in those local universities that you were used to but it says lord names them and says John, pastor, Peter, pastor. Like it was when Christ started the ministry of, with the early Christian churches, we saw the pastors, the, the, the stars, the, those were the leaders, the disciples. Who gave them that authority? But did the Jewish church know? They didn't know. But who knew? Then Peter and what? And God, now I was working with this early Christian church. On the day of Pentecost, people speaking in tongues. It was now connected with heaven. This last one being led by Joshua in the church triumphant. Now he's given crowns. And God himself names. Oden so and so. Oden so and so. Oden so and so. Oden so. And that person who is ordained. It's not from the institution. We are talking of pastors. Dube was preaching the other day. And a, 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 a woman shall shall compass a man and you know you, you can see for yourself he's a pastor he's a pastor isn't it but who named so these are named and it's christ himself who is now the branch working with the ministry 
coming out of Laodicea, naming them one by one. It's prophetically. And their name is in Isaiah chapter 4. It says, the branch shall be beautiful and glorious. And it's the name which is written in the Bible. Because the other one, God said, I will spew you. And when you see such things, know that there is some spewing which has happened. Because the testimony is for the church. Page 8, volume 5, he was saying, this time God won't use the leaders then will never be used. God has got bright stars which are shining. In broad daylight, we can't see them. But if, if it is dark, when people are now in darkness, you see the stars coming up, preaching to you the word of God and you say, where are they training from? No, they are being ordained by Joshua. Amen. And Joshua listens. The orders come from, from God. God names them. He says, whom God names. Re repeat that one. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. And the crowns. It reveals that Joshua. The, uh, okay, the crowns. Sorry. Yeah. And the crowns shall be to Helen. Right. And to Tobijah. Right. And to Jediah. Right. And to Han. Right. The son of Zephaniah. Do you see? For a memorial. For a memorial. In the in, temple of the Lord. In that temple of the church triumphant. Now, uh, uh, listen to the paraphrasing. What's Viti what of faith? Verse 14. Right? Verse 14. Right? Reveals that Joshua. Joshua is to pass the crown on right? to his helpers, whom the Lord himself names. The Lord himself is the one naming those pastors. Right? And this is to be a memorial. Right? An everlasting reminder in the temple of the Lord. Right. And then what can all this What mean? can all this mean? What can all this mean? Just this. Just this. Joshua. Joshua is, is heaven's, heaven's appointed, appointed judge. That's the prophet. Ruler. Right? He himself right? is crowned as such. Right? And in response to the Lord's own command, mm -hmm. Joshua crowns or authorizes, or authorizes his helpers whom the Lord himself names. It's God now working with Joshua. Like it was when God worked with Joshua. When Joshua took over Moses' movement, there was seriousness there. Yeah. There was no rebellion as, as such. No rebellion. The rebellion was there when Moses was using Aaron and Miriam. Those are the people he cried and said, I'm, I stammer, I stammer. He was given people who were causing rebellion in the wilderness. But Joshua, when he, he was leading, did you hear any Aaron or any Miriam? No. Now Joshua was entirely dependent on God. Joshua and God alone. That's why he could stop the sun not going down until he finished fighting, isn't it? So that Joshua movement is the one emerging out of the Laodicean church right now, whether we like it or not. We have got to believe it's going to go. It is go. It emerges. So it means it doesn't start like a bumper harvest like that. It emerges with a few. And it goes on. And it, it goes on to take over. It takes over the king, kingdom. We are heading kingdom bound now. And what? Uh -huh. In other words, in other words, as members of the house of David, right? Joshua authorizes them to engage in the work, right? So mm. Joshua is responsible to the Lord, right? But his helpers are responsible to Joshua, right? So it's going to help us, responsible to what? To, to Joshua. Joshua, and Joshua is responsible to to the Lord. To the Lord. Uh -huh. He is seen in organization, right? Having a leader, a leader, and an under leader. Under leader. The organization he has what? A, a leader, leader and an under, and an under leader. Who is the leader? The branch, the Lord. Christ. Mm -hmm. And under leader, Joshua. Joshua, that we see. Like it was when they entered Canaan. Mm -hmm. So now we are in the scenario set up. You know, Joshua just emerged there uh, to, 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 to take over from Moses when Moses died, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where Joshua came from. Yes, some say Joshua should be have come from what Basham and Gilead and whatever. To, you know what? Joshua was there being revived for the job. Is it? And 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 what? Uh -huh. He is seen. Mm. He is seen. Oh, sorry, he is seen in organization, mm -hmm. having a leader and an under leader. Right. The Lord and Joshua. Mm -hmm. Thus it is mm. that whatever is to be bound on earth right? is also to be bound in heaven. This is the person now binding things on earth. Yeah? Yeah. When he says, no, if we are going to talk about binding things, it's a, another topic on its own. If you could imagine how many things have been. If that person says, this person 
is now a priest, is now a, a pastor, is now a, an elder. God binds it also in heaven. They work together, Joshua and God. And what? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. yes. As concretely as heaven mm -hmm. can make it, mm -hmm. this symbolism depicts that God's people in this final work are right. not to labor at cross purposes. No. Or are to speak the same thing. Right. So it is that his watchmen shall mm -hmm. lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. Right. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Now God, God has a movement which is like Joshua's. Joshua had no chorus in the dance. They were now understanding Joshua is the leader. And there was unison. There was working together in subordination. And that's what uh, Malachi chapter 3 says. God is going to purify a pure and true ministry. Where is the ministry now? The one led by Joshua. Otherwise, this chapter of Joshua should not be in our Bibles. If it is there in our Bibles, then what does it mean? What does it mean? It's imagine out, out, of, out, out of those we had been promised, we will spew. God said, I will spew you. So it means when there is someone imaging as Joshua, there is a spewing. That has happened. And when testimonies to minister says, then he's no longer going to work with these leaders coming from institution but it's got layman's movement taking off christ also said it the priest and the levite they bypassed the samaritan mm -hmm. and who did that they i mean the samaritan did the job mm -hmm. do you understand they were all pointing to this movement of the joshua movement and this is what we should focus on it comes on the last seal the branch seal and god allows that movement to carry those who have taken all three seals, God, New Jerusalem, and the branches, yes. and under the leadership of Joshua. Now, and what? Then his people shall be called the holy people, mm -hmm. the redeemed of the Lord, mm -hmm. sought out a sorry, sought out a city not forsaken, mm -hmm. and speak unto him, saying, Thus mm -hmm. speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying. Mm. Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of this place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Finish. So this is the temple that God is building. If I had time, I was going to finish the whole reformation on that chapter, and so that we understand it is happening amongst us loud descendants, so that we are he we are ready for what has been happening, for what is following, for what we're expecting. When Christ comes, he doesn't find people who are miserable without any any light who are poor, blind, wretched, and naked, and wasting. No, it's not. Who Sister White says, these are the people who, what greater deception can come upon a mind of people who think they are all right when they are all wrong. This message of the truth cannot be a mistake. It comes where we are so miserable. For it comes where we are so wretched. So poor, we know it not. It's, it's, it's your privilege, brethren, and my privilege to join in the Joshua movement. And it's, it's going to expand. It's the master seed, just as a tiny seed, but grows high. And oh, birds settle on that. It becomes the highest the metropolitan. When Christ shall come, shall join this Joshua movement in the kingdom. May God bless this study. Though long it is, you can read it in stages, but you need it. You need it. God bless.